Hey friends, in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing fragrances that you might wanna wear on those days that are super hot, super muggy, where you just want something incredibly light and refreshing and non-cloying. You don't want to project out and knock folks out. You want something smooth and simple and easy going. I tried to bring you some fragrances that I don't talk about frequently or maybe that I haven't mentioned at all. There are some sort of usual suspects in here that you'll, you'll recognize, but for the most part, hopefully this is a fresh list for you all. Shall we jump in? Let's do it. One is, number one rather, is from Notebook Fragrances and it's called Citrus and green tea, citrus and green tea. This is a very inexpensive fragrance. It's unisex, it's an eau de toilette. It's a green citrusy fragrance. It does smell a lot like tea to me. In fact, it has green tea in the top, a lemon and ginger in the middle. There are floral notes. And then in the base, you get some vetiver, some oak moss, some ambergris. But for the most part, it's exactly what it says. Citrus and green tea, very refreshing, very light. I like this a lot. Next is Daisy Oh So Fresh. I know people feel some kind of way about the whole Daisy line. They're over it. I'm not. <laughs> and people feel all kinds of ways about these tops. Um, I, truth be told, I don't love the bottle so much, but it's okay. This was a gift to me, so it means a lot. And I really like the fragrance, even though people feel like they've had enough of the Daisy line. This is such a light, refreshing fragrance. I'm going to tell you, if you're from the islands, the Caribbean islands, or the tropics anywhere, or you've had some time there, this has a little bit of banana note leaning towards plantain. And I'm talking about like a green plantain note, and it's actually rather pleasant. It has some green notes at the top, raspberry, pear, and grapefruit. There's some apple blossom in here, a little jasmine, some musk and plum in the base. This is so pleasant. Again, light, refreshing, and easy reach for summer. Daisy, oh so fresh. Super nice. By the way, these fragrances are at all price points and all kinds of tastes, if that makes sense. They're not all citrus. I know when we think of summer and we think of fragrances, we tend to think of just citrus uh, kinds of fragrances, and that's just not the case. You can certainly wear florals. You can even wear musky fragrances. You can wear ambery fragrances. Although, since we are talking about high heat days, I'm talking about you guys, if you're in the US, late July into August, those like dog days of summer kinds of days. This next one is super refreshing and light and no one really talks about it. I haven't heard a lot about it at all. It is from Garden Botanica and it's called Heart Eau de Parfum. This is very soft. It comes across quite green to me. It has gardenia, jasmine, and roses, but it's very green, a green floral. It kind of gives me faint, faint hints of Flora Botanica. They're not the same. So don't go buying this thinking that it's the same, but it's it's like a distant cousin of Flora Botanica, a much lighter version of that. There's some musk in the base. There's even some cedar in here. Super light, it, it feels on the skin and it smells to the nose exactly how the bottle looks, light and frosted. Next is from the House of Loewe and this is A Mi Aire, A Mi Aire. A citrusy, woody, spicy, aromatic fragrance. Very, very, very light. In fact, like barely detectable, this is almost like a body spray kind of concentration. One that you would wear to, like I said, have some scent on you that's light and airy, feel refreshed, very aquatic, uh, maybe a little ozonic here. It doesn't say that as the accords, but that's how it's coming across to me. Spicy, green, aquatic, has ozonic. some citrus at the top. There's a tea note in here, rose. In the base, you get some woody notes, some moss, Ami Aire Loewe. Easy reach for summer. This is a little bit on the colder side. This is not a warm fragrance. I mean cold in that it leans cold in terms of scent profile. Not that it's not a warm fragrance if you're one that likes, you know, warm, cozy kinds of fragrances. Very, very cold scent, but good for high heat. Next is one that I considered um, giving away because it's so light, but it is pretty, so I've kept it in my collection. It's very, very pretty. 
Um, the issue with this is the longevity stinks. Like you literally need to just carry this around with you and spray like every hour on the hour. Maybe not that bad. Maybe every few hours. Terre de Lumiere by L'Occitane. Now I have, this is the EDT version and I have the EDP version that I'll feature in a summer evening fragrance uh, video. This one here, it's a floral, it's fresh. It has some, an almond accord in here. I just think it's so pretty, so light, so sheer. It's a very sheer and delicate kind of fragrance. It has bergamot and black currant at the top. In the middle, it's peony and almond. And then it settles into this very soft, musky tonka bean fragrance. This is just super light, very girly, like I said, sheer. Like maybe this could be called like chiffon or it could be called tulle. <laughs> the kind of tulle that you wear as a ballerina. Really nice. Terre de Lumiere by L'Occitane. Up next is a fragrance I don't talk about a lot because I don't wear it a lot because it's so, so light, but I look forward to wearing it here in the summer. I this is Whisper, Whisper from Swiss Arabian. Main Accords or Ozonic, fruity, musky, a little floral. This comes across very watery to me. Super duper light. It is like a whisper of a fragrance. So if you're that kind of person that doesn't want for your perfume to be noticed before your personality, this might be a good choice for you. Or if you work in an office environment where you have to be sensitive to other people's allergies, you know, preferences, sensitivities, people that get migraines in your office or your family or whatever, Whisper might be a good choice. All it says is that the top notes are ozonic and floral, and then you get some fruity notes and musk in the base. I don't even detect the must. This is just a very light, watery, simple fragrance for summer. Whisper, Whisper from Swiss Arabian. This next fragrance I really, really enjoy. Now, some might think it leans a little bit air freshener-ish, like bathroom air freshener. Yes, I can see how people would pick that up, but to me, it's just a fresh, clean, lovely summer smell. It's Layla. The Essence of Norway by Gear Ness, I believe is how you say that. Again, this is one that I can't find notes for on Fragrantica, at least not this reformulated, more modern version here. It has some wildflowers in it. It has lavender. It's considered clean and crisp. Um, I even get a little bit of watermelon in here. I did a single scent of the day review on this a while back and it came across very watermelony to me. Maybe not very, but somewhat to the point where I picked that up in here. I do pick up some lavender and just some other light fresh notes. It has a little bit of like fresh laundry smell with a little bit of fruitiness in it. Layla, the essence of Norway, really a simple, lovely summer fragrance. Like this a lot. Next is one that to me smells like freshly cut grass and I love that about it. Um, it's a very inexpensive fragrance and it's Truth by Calvin Klein. This is like a giraffe of a bottle. Just for reference, here's like one of the next fragrances I'm gonna talk about from Aqua Allegoria. <laughs> Look how tall this guy is or this girl or whatever it is. It's considered an amber woody fragrance. It has bamboo, it has clover, bergamot, lemon, a little patchouli. I don't really get a lot of patchouli in there. And it has florals in the middle and a little bit of sandalwood, peony, mimosa, blackberry. In the base, you get some vanilla and some amber. But I mostly get a nice, crisp, fresh cut grass smell from this with some roundness to it. There's, uh, like I said, some vanilla and amber in the base that kind of give this some depth. And that's Truth by Calvin Klein. Another super easy reach, although you'll have to top this one off, like carry it around with you because it doesn't last very long. But it is just a beautiful smell. Rev de Infini by Lalique. Love this bottle. I think it's so gorgeous. Get yourself some little decant bottles from Amazon or wherever and get yourself some decants of this to take around with you. This is a powdery floral fruity fragrance that is super feminine gorgeous bottle like i said i just love looking at that it's got lychee rose bergamot at the top some peach and some jasmine in the middle 
a little bit of musk vanilla in the base really soft very very delicate ladylike fragrance but very light for the summer very pretty Reve de Infini by Lelique Next is one that I think you also will need to carry around with you if you leave the house for the whole day. It is quite nice and it is Dolce & Gabbana light blue. This is the sun version, the flanker of the original light blue. I have the original light blue and I have light blue Entente or Intense, um, a spray version of the Entente and then a full bottle of light blue. I wore light blue for a long time. In fact, I'm on my second bottle of it or maybe my third. And then something happened recently where I felt out of love. I don't dislike it. I just don't want to reach for it a lot. There's something about it that I still like it. Let me just be clear. But there's something about it that um, maybe, maybe it's just one of those things where I'll come back to it later. You know how that happens with fragrances. You love it and then you've had enough of it and it's hard to wear and it gets a little bit annoying and then you come back to it in a year or so and you love it again or a few years later. So um, I think that's what's gonna happen with light blue. The intense is just an intense version of light blue, but this sun here, it's like light blue except softer and a little bit more citrusy. This has a coconut accord, which I think is quite nice as well and gives this a little bit more roundness and softness, like I said. Um, it's a little bit fluffier, if that makes sense, than the original light blue, which can be a little bit sharp on the skin. This has lemon, like I said, coconut nectar, ozonic notes, a Granny Smith apple note at the top, which I love, some uh, white florals, uh, and then frangipani also in the middle. And it has a nice bourbon vanilla in the base. Light blue sun, Dolce and Gabbana. I like this doesn't last very very long on the skin so you may want to carry this one around with you as well in fact that's probably the case for most of your summer kinds of light fragrances by nature they just don't last long and that's okay this next one <laughs> this next one is very very inexpensive it's Jovan white musk is this my favorite no would I wear this sure and I would especially wear it um, in if I'm just hanging around the house it's a musky white floral. It's one that when you first put it on, it's a little iffy, but if you let it settle on your skin and mesh with your natural chemistry and warm up on your skin, you'll probably like it. Very inexpensive. I think you can get this for $10 or less. Musky white floral, a little bit powdery. It has jasmine, alang alang, honeysuckle, musk, amber. Hard to go wrong with Jovan white musk for the price tag. Next is one that I have come to love, Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde. Oh, I really do like green citrusy fragrances. This has a hint of sweetness, but it's mostly like a tropical limey smell. Heavy, heavy citrus is what I would call this. It has lime at the top, green notes, some fig and sugarcane and some tropical notes in the middle. This also gives me faint Flora Botanica vibes. Like if it were, if Flora Botanica were even greener and less floral, you might get a Limon Verde leaning kind of fragrance. Very, very nice fragrance for the summer. Citrusy, uh, light, easy grab if you like citrus fragrances. If you don't, stay away from that. You're gonna hate it. A classic for the summer, undeniably, is Elizabeth Arden's White Tea. This is a green aromatic fragrance with a marine accord. Has a little bit of woodiness. At the top, it's sea notes, so you get a little bit of like that salty sea air thing at the top. Clary sage, so it's a little aromatic, a little citrus, and it's in the middle where that white tea note really emerges. White iris, mate tea, really gorgeous. Uh, amber in the base, some tonka bean. This is a light, easy grab for summer. Hard to go wrong. You're gonna smell pretty and you're gonna smell fresh and you're gonna smell like just a delightful tea. Elizabeth Arden white tea. Hard to go wrong with that. The last fragrance I wanna talk about is one that I could have put in my evening fragrances video. 
even though it's evening now, I'm talking about those fragrances that do well in the summer, in high heat, that are light and refreshing. This one could be refreshing and may be preferred by people who would like something with a lot more substance and not quite as maybe watery as the ones that I've mentioned and light as the ones that I've mentioned. And that's Pure White Linen by Estee Lauder. This is a gorgeous fragrance. It's mostly a white floral. And it has green notes at the top, grapefruit, apple, and pear. It just, it opens so fresh and clean, like fresh laundry with some, um, some greenness mixed in, is how I would describe it. In the middle, you get white florals. You get jasmine, gardenia, tuberose, even rose, heliotrope in the base, a little patchouli and cedar, a little bit daring and don't mind a fragrance that does have more heart to it in the heat, pure white linen might be a good choice for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing if you're new. And for those of you returning, thanks so much for hanging out with me again. Let me know if there are any of these fragrances that you would consider wearing in the dog days of summer. Have a good one. Take care, friends.